Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily. Today we're at the Arcteryx Alpine Academy and I'm here with Will Gad. Hey Matt, how's it going? Oh man, I'm so slow. <laughs> I really am. <laughs> it's good, eh? We've got this day where we've run away from the academy, we've taken Will, we're going to go and climb a classic route. Very, very excited. Uh, you've been up here before, right? I've never your first been time? here and in fact I'm really excited because uh, yeah, I get to do a new alpine route with you. It's just great. Awesome, man. Well, uh, we're going to go onto the glacier and get on with it. Attack! These are the top black diamond glacier walking crampons. You can tell because they have one point. Two are very slow, but, uh, but one point is the new black diamond high speed glacier model. It goes in and out a lot faster. That's bullshit, by the way. <laughs> say, he's a pro in this one. He's, he's a pro. Okay, so we're on the glacier. It's a little bit windy, but we're roped up, ready to go, I think. I'm not sure what he said, but we're actually on a glacier, glacier. and we're ready to go now. Yeah. Roped up and good to it's go. It's a glacier, y'all. <laughs> y'all. Hey, let's go climb some alpine. Yeah, dude, let's get her on. Attack. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's great. This is actually really cool for me because I haven't climbed very much here at all. So I'm getting to do a new route and uh, Matt's going to show me around. It's just a great day to be out here. Normally in an Arcteryx Academy, I'm teaching like nutrition or ice climbing or rock climbing or something like this. But uh, this is really great. To get to go mountaineering, this is awesome. And what a day, like, come on. But I'm gonna get altitude sick. That's traditionally what I do. So I'm gonna do some suffering later. <laughs> it's gonna be good. So the winds dropped around the corner, so we're stripping off some layers as we boil. And you can see the end of the ridge we're gonna climb up there. Pretty sexy looking piece of rock here. So, wait, well, do you know where you're headed? Where we're headed? That way. No, I think, <laughs> I think we're going up that way and the clue here in Chamonix, normally in Canada we use a map, but here in Chamonix you just follow the really big trail and it looks beautiful. Like this is ridiculous to, to show up here in this environment so quickly. I'm, I'm, I'm reconsidering my career decisions, you know, <laughs> normally in Canada you walk for day, fight off two grizzlies yeah. and then you're here. Here we prefer the sort of midday lift and wine. Yeah, that's so good. Yeah. Cappuccino at noon, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. I already feel the altitude. I'm going to get my ass kicked. So this is the thing we've come, come into the hill for the first time. We've been walking down. Now, now we get to go, to go up. up. So I operate basically at two speeds, slow and slower. So okay. we'll just chip away at it. Let's go slower. Done, yeah. Slower, please. Oh, that's not slow. <laughs> Red Bull athletes, you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Hyped up on energy, these people. So that's it, that's the ridge. As you can see, it's fairly narrow, nice and pinnacly, and you just work your way along it, get to the summit, couple of abseils down, last little bit of scramble, and it's all good. So it's a, it's a good one, and the reason we picked this ridge is if you were to do the Arcteryx Academy, this is the kind of route you probably do next. This fairly near a lift, fairly moderate, beautiful. <laughs> so if you do the Arcteryx Academy, you're gonna be doing this one day. Woo, attack. All right. Is this site, we haven't got to the route yet. I mean, what, what's gonna happen when we get on the rock? Okay, so this route is the Traverse en Treve, and it is a classic alpine climb. Now with this kind of terrain, you generally move it together, and that's because you want to be moving quickly. You don't want to be hanging around here in the heat of the day, especially when storms start to come in. So because of that, me and we'll be moving it together, as I said, so a bit of rope length out between us, flicking the rope between spikes, occasionally a bit of gear perhaps to keep ourselves safe. Now this kind of climbing is a bit dangerous uh, because you're essentially soloing, so you need to be sure of it. And whenever the ter terrain gets super steep, you then just stick in a pitch. Now, Will is obviously uh, a mountain guide in Canada, but he's not guiding here on this trip. We're just two guys traveling. Just yeah. doing it. Yeah, getting amongst in the Alps. Look at this, eh? Yeah. 
Solid. I've never met anyone with more stoke than me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're coming across to the spiky exposed bit of this route, which is it's the exciting bit, it's the good bit. So, Will, when you look at a piece of terrain like that, what are you looking for in terms of keeping us safe, but just generally climbing that in the proper way? This, this type of terrain, if you're, if you're guiding, is you can use one system, but if you're out here on your own or with another person, obviously, then you want to run the rope through spikes mm -hmm. so that if one person falls off, it's not fun. It's pretty catastrophic and exciting, but you don't die, which is always the rule in the mountains. You know, you die, you lose. Yeah. So just just using your rope cunningly. And then what most people tend to do who are recreational or personal climbers is they tend to put out a lot of rope and then that knocks ro rocks off. And it also doesn't do as much. It's actually better to shorten the rope up. So I've got like half the rope in my backpack and you know, kind of classical Alpine style. We'll just weave our way through that with always having a good solid block between us. And maybe a piece of gear if I get scared. If you start getting really shaky, <laughs> yeah. or I do, <laughs> put in some gear, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you just hear it in my voice. Will, oh, oh. <clears throat> Will, could yeah. you put yeah. some gear in, Will? <laughs> maybe two. Yeah, just a little bit. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, but this is great. I mean, this is the home of, of mountaineering in the world, really, and alpinism. This is where it started. And for me to be here and get to do this with you, like, life is good, man. Good, Thank man. you. Cool. And you. Have you done this route before? I've never done this route. I've always really? wanted to, but I just never On got site together? To it. I know, Give mate. me a high five. Yeah. Yeah. So good. All right, onto the crux. Let's do it. Going inside, <laughs> <laughs> nicely done. Check that out. Did you see that? I did a fist jam. Hey. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. I'm going to here. Yeah, team. Attack. <laughs> Attack. Climb in. <laughs> so we've done it we're on the summit yeah high fives nice one bud crushing it that was fun well uh, done so just the, the little rappels to come and then a scrambly bit um, but we have got to get out of here because we've got more Arcturix Academy stuff coming very very soon so we're going to bail out as fast as possible dodge the queues a little bit hopefully and uh, we'll see you guys down the bottom it's pizza 30 is the truth we're hungry we're out <laughs> he's right he's right it <laughs> let's is. go it <laughs> is time <laughs> okay you're on v -like.
well done. That was super fast. Thank you. He just rocked that. Yeah, likewise. Well, we're not out of the woods yet, are we? Eh? Yeah, we're gonna walk up a hill now. Yeah, and we gotta walk across there. So there we go, traverse finished and what a route. Will, thank you so, so much. That was hey, a thank pleasure. you, great climbing with you, super oh. solid. You know, it's really good. <laughs> Cheers, ma'am. Well, I think pizza time, we're gonna head down, possibly in aperitivo, we are in Italy after all. And yeah, head back to the academy and see what's going on there. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.